he said, we have a group of children that are from this area up in the mountains. And it happened to be where I was cutting trees, right? And it's a backward, um, I won't say what we say about those kinds of people here in the States, but just mountain, you know, hillbilly type things. And they said, their children are out of control. We bust them in and they're destroying our classes. And we were wondering about having a special class just for them. Would you be willing to take them, right? <laughs> and so I thought, oh, it sounds like the kind of thing God would do to me right now. I said, well, um, you pray about it. And if you feel it should go for it, Carol and I will pray too. And we'll, well, long story short, two weeks later, I'm standing there in front of these kids. I'd never heard such foul language, even in my gangster days, right? Just foul mouth, angry. I was looking at future, you know, bank robbers, and I won't list the other things they could possibly be. And I thought, oh my God, what do I do, Father? And I, you know, one of the things that happens when you are broken is that your dependency on God really increases, right? Mm -hmm. Without him, you can do nothing. I mean, that's what Jesus said, right? But that was a reality for me. I felt absolutely broken. And so when you're broken and dependent, there's a um, greater probability that you and your dependency on him will be trusted, right? To hear from him, mm. what's next, right? Because I didn't know what to do. And what, he, what I thought he said to me was, invite them to go on a treasure hunt, to find the most beautiful, amazing treasure that ever exists. Mm.